So last week I hit a personal milestone. For those that don't know, every week I record a podcast with an author on my podcast called Book Talk Today. And last week we reached 50 author interviews. Yes. 50. I've always wanted to interview authors ever since I was a kid and when I got the opportunity to reach out to authors and ask them onto my podcast it felt more like a calling more than any other project that I had done previously. So today I want to talk about some of the personal lessons I've learned from recording these 50 episodes and also some of the patterns that authors talk about and some of the key points from those 50 podcasts with those authors. This video will be a slightly long one, so I'll put timestamps in the description below so you can skip ahead to the parts that you're interested in. I'll start by talking about what I've learned personally. And the first thing is that an idea is only as good as the execution and the time that you put into it. We all know people, and sometimes even we are subject to this, that we think an idea is great, but we don't actually know until we execute on the idea. To know whether something works is to try it and see whether it works and have a look at the results, whether they go well or they go badly. And we don't know this until we take that shot. The way that I've dealt with this personally is to commit to recording 100 episodes before I think about downloads or subscribers or these types of metrics because I think a lot of people focus too much on short-term results and 100 episodes for this podcast is about over two years worth of work and that's a good indication to seeing whether something works or not. Whereas if you just did it for six months and you have a look at the results, you could be disheartened to feel like it's not something that you want to continue continue with but two years is usually enough and it's something that I personally committed to. Another great learning point for me was this idea of being unique. At the moment there's so many people creating content on so many different platforms in so many different ways and in order to separate yourself you need to make sure that what you're doing is unique. So with my podcast, I only interview authors to talk about their books. There's lots of podcasts out there that do interview authors, but there's very few that I've come across that solely interview authors. So for me, I'm very passionate about reading, as you can tell. But I think authors interviews are an untapped potential because a lot of people don't know the authors behind the books. And I think the podcast for me was a great way to showcase some of the authors and their thought process and give them an opportunity to talk about the books and the ideas outside of the book itself. I could have easily extended the podcast to include people that are not authors but what I thought about is what is my goal with the podcast and the goal is to become the number one books podcast in the world period. I know that sounds like a big goal but if you're not committed to making yourself the best that you can be then it's very difficult to keep yourself going through the times when your computer crashes or you have internet issues these type of things for the podcast specifically but for your own personal projects it can be different and to go through the monotony of doing the same thing day in day out can be very difficult. If you're starting any project then my recommendation is to find a niche that suits your interests but also you can see yourself having a future in. Don't just pick something that's popular now, but make sure that you pick a niche that is untapped to a degree, or you can find an angle that is untapped and something that you're interested in as well. Lastly, in my list of personal learnings was this idea of focusing on learning over recognition. A lot of people right now start projects that they want recognition for, whether it be immediately or even in the near future. And this isn't bad, especially if recognition means opportunities and financial recognition as well. But the thing is, is sometimes this takes a long time to happen, especially in an environment where there's so much content putting out, being put out there and there's so many new projects and ideas. It sometimes takes time to stay in the game in order to separate yourself from the pack. And what I found specifically with doing the podcast is it's a great way for me to learn. I'm the one who benefits the most from the podcast because each week I sit down with an author to discuss their book, which means I've read the book and I sit down with the author to discuss the ideas in the book. Then when I go through to edit the video, I'm listening back to it and I have three points of reference for the ideas in the book. So I, I get a good grasp of the key concepts of the ideas. And I have many different types of people on the podcast, from historians to journalists, to scientists, to business people. So it's a really good range to really get key learnings on many different subjects. If you're starting any project then, my recommendation would be to try and find a way that you are learning every step of the way. 
because this will take your mind off any type of recognition that you're seeking for. And ultimately, this is what each one of us is hoping for. But at the same time, you want to be personally learning, growing and developing as you're doing it, because then it's a benefit both ways. I'll now switch over to talk about some of the principles I've learned from interviewing the authors from the things that they've said in those podcasts. And the first is storytelling really matters. When I had Will Storr on the podcast to discuss his book, The Science of Storytelling, it was very important for me to understand this idea of storytelling and how it pervades into different industries, whether you're in creative writing, whether you're in business, whatever field you're in, being able to tell great stories is a massive advantage. The second principle I've seen is this idea of self-awareness. And self-awareness might seem like a new age thing, but self-awareness has been around ever since the Delphic Oracle told the people of Greece to know thyself. To have self-awareness is knowing what you like, where you're going, what you dislike, and what you're trying to do with every single thing that you do in your life. And it's really important from some of the authors that I've discussed with is to set time aside for self-reflection. And this self-reflection is really important to try and understand your direction, but also what you're trying to do with each thing in your life, not just pursuing means because it's either popular or it's what other people are doing. It's also this idea that self-awareness isn't achieved, but rather requires consistent work in order for you to stay on top of it and in order to make sure that you're staying on the right path. The last principle is the importance of curiosity. And last week I created a video on three habits to be more curious. And there's no doubt that each author is curious in their respective fields, otherwise they wouldn't have written a book. If you're looking to become an author or someone who's looking to become more creative, it's really imperative to try and cultivate a habit of curiosity because it will enable you to go through the process of creation without boredom and also enable you to go through some of the obstacles that's going to come in your way when it comes to creative projects. You can watch my video on cultivating a habit of curiosity here. That's it. That's some of the things that I've learned personally from recording 50 author interviews, but also some of the common principles that I see from authors within those episodes as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my Book Talk Today podcast. Every week I record a podcast and share it with an author to discuss their book and also the ideas and principles inside of it. I'll put the link in the description below and I look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Before you go, I just wanna let you know that every month I send out a monthly newsletter that includes book reviews, book recommendations, and author insights from my weekly podcasts with authors. The newsletter is totally free and the link is in the description below. It would mean the world to me if you did subscribe.